UFC Fight Night, Cannoneer vs. Imabov, also billed as UFC Louisville, took place on June 8th in front of a sold-out KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky. The event brought in $2.5 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? The Kentucky Boxing and Wrestling Commission does not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Welterweight Miguel Baeza had his opponent Punahele Soriano deep in a heel hook midway through the first, but ate big shots as Soriano defended the position. Baeza continued the submission attempts in the second, but Puna found plenty of openings to cause damage from the top, breaking the single fight record for significant ground strikes. In the final round, Soriano got a takedown early and continued firing away with ground and pound, going for submissions of his own. The fight went the distance and came down as a unanimous decision victory for Punahele Soriano. Baeza earned $24,000 to show and $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $30,000. While Soriano made $27,000 to show and another twenty-seven dollars for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship, and a total of $60,000. The second fight officially lasted just 20 seconds as Zachary Reese secured his first UFC victory with a knockout over his opponent, Julian Marquez. After a solid body kick that backed up Marquez, Reese unloaded several strikes, capped off by a vicious uppercut that resulted in a knockdown, giving him the KO finish. It marks Reese's eighth fight in a row that has not seen a second round. Marquez made $28,000 to show, along with $6,000 in sponsorship pay, for $34,000 on the night. And the winner, Zachary Reese, took in $10,000 to show and $10,000 for the win, $4,000 in sponsorship, and a $50,000 performance of the night bonus for a total of $74,000. The third fight was a one-round banger between middleweight's Bruno Fajeda and Dustin Stoltzfus. Fajeda uncharacteristically started the fight on the back foot and ended up on the mat with Stoltzfus on top. By three minutes in, both men were back on the feet throwing furious exchanges until Fajeda landed not one but two spinning back elbows, the second of which planted Stoltzfus on the canvas, and Fajeda came away with the TKO finish. Stoltzfus brought in $27,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship for $33,000 on the night. While Fajeda earned $24,000 to show and another $24,000 for the win, along with $4,500 in sponsorship and a 50k performance of the night bonus, for a total of $102,500. The Ultimate Fighter winner, Ricky Tercios, came out aggressively against Raul Rosas Jr. in the first round of their Bantamweight bout, landing leg kicks and combinations at a high pace. Rosas Jr. took advantage of the timing to score a takedown and maintained a solid chunk of control time. Tercios reversed the position with about a minute left, threatening with submission attempts until the end of the round. The pace continued in the second, but it was Rosas Jr. who ultimately sunk in the rear naked choke for the win. Tercios earned $32,000 to show and $4,500 in sponsorship for a total of $36,500. And the winner, Raul Rosas Jr., brought home $45,000 to show and $45 for the win, $4,500 in sponsorship pay, and a $50,000 performance of the night bonus for $144,500. In the co-main event, light heavyweight Dominic Reyes returned to form and rocked his opponent Dustin Jacoby with a big left hook in the first round. He stayed on the attack with a huge knee up the middle, followed by a flurry of strikes that put Jacoby down on the canvas. The fight was called just two minutes into the opening round, and Reyes snapped his four-fight losing skid and walked away with a huge knockout victory. Jacoby took home $72,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship for $83,000 on the night. While Reyes made $85,000 to show and $85,000 for the win, $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, and the biggest paycheck of the night at $181,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, in a controversial stoppage, number 7 middleweight Nasardini Mavov came away with a TKO victory over number 4 Jared Cannonier. The fight was evenly matched for the first three rounds, with Cannonier having the edge in overall strikes from consistent leg kicks. In the fourth, the momentum began to shift in Imavov's favor as his combination started to find the mark, putting Cannoneer on wobbly legs. After a pair of right hands, the referee stepped in to stop the fight with immediate protest from Cannoneer. But the call had been made and Imavov walked away with the TKO win. Cannoneer earned $115,000 to show and $16,000 in sponsorship 
for a total of $131,000. And the winner, Nazardini Mavov, took home $54,000 to show and $54 for the win, along with $6,000 in sponsorship and a grand total of $114,000. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC Fight Night, Perez vs. Tyra.